we all want to hide our junk. We don't, we don't want people to look at it. So as much as people want to hide their junk, eventually you work with someone long enough, it comes to the surface. It's only a matter of time, especially you create that non-judgmental environment for coaching. All of those secular programs in coaching, which are fine, but they're never gonna grow somebody's faith. They're never gonna build and develop what you could be because there's nothing of faith there. We're gonna be basing everything on God's word. That is so important. And clients often come with a mindset that when they have all these problems, they might not be a good enough Christian. And they don't understand the truth is, the more we're involved in doing things for God and serving others, the more battles we'll face, not less. So we wanna help our clients understand that so they don't become discouraged, shut down, and just wanna quit. I think if you and I are aware that we have been given stewardship of these lives that we coach, we'll handle them a lot more carefully sometimes, not so cavalierly. I'm not saying that we do, but we are a little bit more cognizant that we don't because we understand I need to be a good steward because as a steward, I understand at some point, at some time, I will stand before God and I will give an account of the things he put into my hand. And, and I don't know about you, but I believe every life, whether as a client of coaching or a client of counseling, I will give an account to God. What did you do with so-and-so when I put them in your care? And if we have that approach, it just softens and brings, I believe, an important and a necessary element of humility into that. But when you take that powerful scripture and you combine it with an image, it uses both sides of your brain. And that can help bring that truth of who God really is in your life. Mm, I like that. And when you said it, George, I'm thinking uh, when I'm walking with someone in the coaching process and they say, here's a lot of information. I'll say, all right, we're giving you content and it's valuable. And you're gonna learn from some of the best Christian life coaches in the industry. But I really want you to focus on that right hemisphere and to stir up the gifts, the creative side. Where will you use this? Who will you share this with? How can you apply this in your own teaching, in your own coaching?